Can you believe that? Well done, my friend. With this blue shine, I'll make a fortune. They'll be selling my goods everywhere. As a reward for this most valuable help, I give you this. A recipe for you to make your own special Dietrich mixture. <laughs> Keep that a secret, my friend. It is very valuable. I got all the best stuff. Always a pleasure, my friend. Back off. The guys working the conduits say you pissed off the gearheads real bad. You gotta be crazy. Next thing you know, you'll be pissing off the authority. <laughs> Human mutations weren't caused by cosmic radiation from the asteroid hit. Mutants were created by the Authority experimenting with nanotrites and humans. The failures were rejected and discarded into the wasteland like trash left to reproduce and spread. That's the truth. And that's what people need to know. Well, you walk a fine line between getting yourself killed and making friends, don't you? Now, on to important things. We've got authority patrols in town. And they don't know what you look like, so you should be fine. But we need to move quickly. Sila Sun has been working on decrypting your ID drive. As the captain has told you earlier, getting the information off your ID drive is critical for us. But there are some sectors that I can't access with the single decryptor I have. I'm gonna need to run two decryptors in parallel if I want to get to those sectors, and that's where you come in. Captain's got a contact in the north. He's heard rumors that an Ark emerged in the Jackal Valley. And let me tell you, if the Jackals were the first people those Ark survivors met, then they were dead in minutes. But the important thing is that the Jackals probably left that Ark intact, which means you should be able to recover their decryptor and get it back here. So, I need you to go north to the Jackal Valley. Find the Ark if it's there, and get that decryptor. The Jackals are a dangerous bunch of bandits. You watch yourself.
excellent work. Just give me a second to analyze this data. Hey, Captain. Take a look at this. Incredible. Incredible's right. This is exactly what we've been waiting for. It is, quite simply, the key to everything. The location, codes, and re-entry times for every arc buried on Earth is right here. This data is nothing less than a second chance for civilization. Maybe our last chance. With this, we can strike at the heart of the Authority. We can use the codes in your ID drive to free all the arcs that the Authority has imprisoned beneath the Earth. For years, we've developed plans to get someone inside Capital Prime, into the heart of the monster. But we never had the capability to deliver a fatal blow. Until today. If there's a future, it begins with this. The war starts now. First thing is, we need access to the Eastern Lands, and the only way to do that is by knocking out the Authority's security bridge. See Portman, he's got a plan worked out for that. Now, we finally get to hit the Authority. I've been waiting for this. You ready? Get across the bridge and into the Eastern Lands, you'll need to knock out the power generator that controls the defenses. Trick is, the only safe way to access the bridge is down the ravine and up the lift. Not easy. Once you're around the defenses, you'll be able to blow the generator to hell. I'll give you the explosive charges. You just need to make it down the ravine alive. Got all that? Good. And the Authority has a small blockade near the ravine entrance in the north? Once you blow that, they will know you're coming. Don't waste time. Get down the ravine and to the bridge as quickly as possible. I joined the Resistance after working with General Cross in the Old City. I had to, especially after I saw that the nanotrites might be used to save the mutants, not control them. My research shows that the nanotrites can be reprogrammed to perform more of the basic subneurological functions. If that can really be done, and if they were implanted in the mutants, we may be able to reverse the mutational progress. Captain Marshall has allowed me to set up a small lab here to run my experiments and tests. Dangerous thing you're doing out there. Don't let the Authority find out what you look like. They'll tear this town apart if they think you're hiding here. The winds of change are blowing. It's in the air. Can't you just... In the yeah, that's where he said they were heading. I've never heard of the Authority sending drones into the city before. They must be looking for something. Well, some what? The Authority has left this town alone for a long time. Let us do our own thing. But those days are looking farther and farther away now. It won't be long before they're in every town and settlement. Soon no one will be free. I bet those bandit scumbags never knew what hit them. Great work, pal. Now get out there and rack me up some more kills.
Too many people that won't or can't fight. But if I ever get a chance to go up against the authority, I'll take it. Wouldn't think twice. Nanotrites. Those little computers. <laughs> yeah, they scare me. Don't know much about them, but I don't like them. You think you'll be able to help an old man like myself? Hey there, what you looking for? Don't forget to check with me first if you need anything. Bye now. Marshal's moving his people around the territories. Something big's about to happen. That's good news. If anyone can take down the authority, it would be him. Keep an eye out for those authority predators. Toughest cars in the wasteland. Only a skilled rival would survive a fight against them. Something big is about to happen. People in town can just feel it. 